say it's pressed on. And uh, we're now at the point where we can get down to the really icky stuff, which is the glue that sticks the roofing felt on. Don't really want any nails through the roofing felt because they're always the weak spot that uh, means that it'll leak and then rot away underneath. But first of all, we've screwed all the baseboards down onto the, the posts so they're good and strong. Um, these will get covered by the roofing felt so obviously we need to do that now. But then, most importantly, as with so many jobs, cleanliness is very important. So we're making sure that any sawdust, bits of uh, roofing felt, um, shingle, things like that aren't on here. As you can see, we've already cut all the pieces to the right size. This is because you don't want to be faffing around when you're up to your armpits in sticky goo trying to cut bits because you'll just get stuff everywhere. Um, so we've spent a lot of time measuring and cutting all the bits of roofing felt ready to go on. And uh, with this, it's better to use more rather than less. You don't want any little gaps. The, the less number of joins you have, the better. And you want the joins to butt up against each other. You don't want them to overlap. Otherwise, you're basically producing a little speed hump for your trains to go over, which certainly in double O is not a good idea. We also clean the backs of the roofing felt as well, because what you'll find is when it comes off the big roll, there'll be lots of bits of shingle just stuck into the back. And if you don't clean all this off, what you'll find is you'll get a much um, rubbisher bond because the glue will stick to the little loose bits and not the roofing felt itself, so then it will start to lift. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start the gloopiness. Oh, and also one last thing is, don't let the people who sell you the gloves and the wood give you two left gloves, otherwise you have to go and find another pair, as I've had to do. So somebody somewhere who went to the same wood yard as me has got two right gloves. Oh, lucky them. Here it goes. We've got us our, uh, our mess on, our molasses. Now we've got our cleaned back um, roofing felt, scrubbed all the rubbish off it. Uh, let's just get this pressed on. Not in the right place just yet, but uh, we can still manoeuvre it. Make sure we've got that in just the right place. And butting up to the next piece. Then the next bit, get ourselves a nice roller. It's not going to get the goo on it, well at least if you do it properly it's not going to get the goo. And what we're trying to do here is just make sure that there's no air underneath there and just squash the roofing felt down into the glue. And there you have it. Any bits at the end where it's curled up like that, we'll just weight it with a brick or something like that overnight until it dries and that just makes sure that you don't get any of the ends lifting. Uh, but there we have it. Right, well we're sticking down the roofing felt. We've got the, the gloopy glue underneath. We've got the roofing felt on. And I've started to tidy up the edges now. As you can see, we've folded them underneath and well, nailed them in, I think is probably the best description. But I'm not actually using a hammer. I'm using one of these mole grips. And they've been adjusted, and I've got a little piece of wood which will go on top. And the idea is that you're just squeezing the little clout nails in. And uh, the beauty of this as well is that because you're clamping down on the piece of wood, you're actually squashing the roofing felt into the glue on the edges. So, you know, winner all round. So we're going to have a go over here. You can see that because of the bend in the roofing felt, it's sprung a little bit on the edge. The glue's actually still sticky underneath there. It seems to want to take a very long time to cure. Now, it's, it's quite a tight, restricted space here, so I'm going to see if I can get in and do this, and we can still film it. 
we're positioning the wood on the edge, trying to get down nice and low, folding the roofing felt over, and just with your thumb, push the little tack nail just into the roofing felt, and then clamp this over the top. The, the piece of wood just makes sure that this clamp doesn't damage the roofing felt, and then we just squeeze that nail in. And there it is, nice and neat. Until next time, uh, you take good care of yourself and uh, we'll be doing some more of these how-to guides of the Garden Railway and uh, hopefully you should be getting it finished sooner rather than later. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. If you think there's somebody else who needs to see it, don't forget to share it. Also subscribe to the channel and you'll be the first to see all the new stuff as it comes out. Anyway, take care of yourself. See you next time.